How are we doing guys? Um, Nick here. Um, happy homebrew Wednesday-ish. Technically it's still Wednesday because it's dark outside and it's the middle of the night, about three in the morning. Um, sorry it's late. It's uh, just been a bit chaotic with work. Been on nights. Not getting until seven, eight in the morning and then back out again at six o'clock at night. Don't get a lot of time to uh, do much brewing really in the week. Um, literally working my fingers to the bone and then bl um, sore, sore fingers. Rope burns, nothing worse than a 200 meter rope and you're laying it to follow the rope for a long, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And you're laying 200 meters of soaking wet 20, 30 mil rope and you're having to follow it in the dark and it's bloody sore. Anyway, so this week, what have we been up to? Well, I uh, had the old Finlander kit. That's now sat behind me on the heat tray. It's been there in, what, a week now. Um, I should have a look at that anytime soon, see how that's ready. I've got the, I've got a four-fingered jack, the, Is it the John Ball? I can't remember now. Four fingered jack. I don't get the box. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, four finger jack kit going on upstairs. That's Bulldog, not John Ball. That's another one. Um, it's got tea bag technology in it, oh, as in the hops are in the tea bags, quite large tea bags. That's been there for the week and a half now. So that should be, hopefully, if I get a chance, kegged. I'm going to keg it. I can't, I've got time for bottling, and then bottles are not, I haven't washed them for ages. I just can't be arsed, I ain't got time. Um, beer mail wise, the ones that uh, Claire sent me. I've done one video and then I was in the press doing the one that spilt the drink. I can't remember which one I spilt, I think it was the aniseed. Sorry about that, Claire. Um, I should save some though, so I might try and uh, redo it. Uh, what else? Uh, the turbo ciders. Yeah, they're just behind me. There's two there and one just there. They're bubbling along nicely. Nice head of foam on that one. Um, I thought I'd try some of my all grains. This is the, uh, this is the uh, oh, pale malt and the crystal malt. And I think this is the second running, well, all grain one actually. It might, be, not, might not be the second running. G1. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Ooh, nice pop. Bit of can of smoke. Very dark looking. Darker than I'd expect it to be. Expecting it to be this dark, I must admit, but I did overdo all the um, overdo the crystal malt quite a bit, a bit more than I should have done really. That was probably why it's so dark. Mm, you're definitely getting malt. Definitely getting the malts in that. Tell you what, it don't taste too bad, it taste too bad at all. In fact, it tastes damn fine. For dark beer. Um, I, I didn't take the uh, hydrometer tests on it, so I don't know what the start and finish was because I haven't got a hydrometer, I broke it. I just can't bother to buy another one. Um, what else? Yeah, it's, that's good, that. 
what else? Um, I've got myself 24 litres of the pure apple juice laying around. I'm going to uh, see about doing some, maybe some more of the blackberry cider. I might see if I can get some blackberry concentrate, the tins, or I have to get the frozen berries, which I don't really want to get because it's slipping two, two and a half quid upon it. That's a lot to pay for frozen blackberries. Um, but we'll see how that one goes. What else? Uh, thank you for all my subs new subscribers. I think I've got another three or four. Um, I haven't had a look to see who you are yet, but I'll give you a shout out later. Uh, Claire, I still haven't posted your parcel. It's sat here, of course, I've been working. Um, what else we've got to talk about? Um, that's about it, really. Um, Clive, I've still got your beers in the fridge. Oh, I did taste the Audi cider, and I tell you what, mate, that was pretty damn good. That I did, uh, did do a video of that one, I think. Um, I don't think I loaded it up yet, though. Um, it sounds like it's wanging it down out there. Uh, let's see, I'm on nights again, probably next week as well, which will be a bit of a bummer. Uh, other than that, not a lot else to talk about really. Um, let's see. Not a lot really. Um, so, anyway, thanks guys. And like I say, I'm sorry it's late. Uh, oh, I bought some maple syrup. Um, so I'm going to do a brew. Oh, ow. God, I don't know. Bloody ache. I'm going to do a brew. Some maple syrup. I tell you, this stuff ain't cheap, is it? About three quid a bottle. So I'm going to try and do a brew with that. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I've also got some uh, honey up there as well. So I might do a honey and maple syrup brew. And oh yeah the Finlander beer, the one that I brewed last week, obviously it's been fermenting away with the yeast that I washed, but I can't remember what I washed it out of, so that'll be interesting. That's not got many more days left so that'll be interesting to see what that tastes like. And that's it really. Um just got to get these bottles sorted out, really. Um, if it was summertime, that would be a heaven for all those chucking flute flies. Flute? Fruit, sorry. I've never had a beer. Oh, I've had a mouthful. So, cheers, guys. Sorry if I'm bumbling and bambling on a bit. I'll speak to you later.